This is Williams Bryce Stadium in Columbia, South Carolina, home of the Gamecocks. And here comes South Carolina. We're going to have a lot of fun building what I want to be the premier culture in all of college football. And he goes down, another sack for Carolina. He's back in the pocket. Here comes Carolina. They drop him on a sack. Carolina defense forces four turnovers on the day, including another pick six, the third of the year. Luke Doty has a good day throwing the football his career best, and Carolina takes down Troy 23-14. Coach, congratulations. As usual, it seems like your teams get some unconventional wins, but it was a win nonetheless. Congratulations. No, thank you very much. No, I'll never apologize for winning. That was a fun day, and, and just so proud of our guys. I mean, we, we told them at halftime, what a big play by Spalding to get the uh, points before the half, but we knew we were in a dogfight at halftime and, and knew it would be a four-quarter game, and, and it wasn't always pretty, but we talked at the hotel before we came over here today that we were going to need all three phases, and we, we did. Special teams did some great stuff. Defense obviously did some great stuff. Off. And then what a drive by our offense at the end of the game. I think you told me to take seven or eight minutes off the clock and uh, kick a field goal. And, and those are things we can build up on. We certainly have to play better, but, you know, we're, we're not even halfway through the season. We're three and two, and we still haven't played our best football yet. Coach, uh, obviously nine different receivers caught the football today. Luke Doty has a high in 255 yards in his career. Did you see something that you thought would lend to the passing game today or just overall changing it up? A little bit of both. You know, we felt good about our matchups against Troy and their defense. They're hard to run the football on. They're top five in the country in sacks and tackles for loss and, and total defense for a reason. They're good. They got good players. And, uh, you know, we felt like we needed one to be able to attack their secondary a little bit. But then also we needed to, you know, be aggressive on offense and, and open it up and throw the ball down the field. Uh, right now, we're not necessarily built to just line up and have 80-yard drives as an offense. We've got to be able to hit shot plays and create explosives in the past game, and, and uh, we were able to do that. We missed on some opportunities, whether it be the throw, whether it be the, the catch, uh, and have to be better or the protection, but certainly a lot to build upon from today. Speaking of receivers, on our Prisma Health injury report, Josh Van went into the game a little banged up with a bad groin. He played some. Uh, it led to some plays where we maybe could have used Josh in there on the punt return that we did not handle very well. But, Coach, how's the health of the football team overall, and how's Josh doing? Yeah, pretty good. Josh, uh, late in the week, had a groin injury, and, and uh, you know, we knew he'd be able to play a little bit today. Just wasn't 100%. Uh, Jalen Nichols had an ankle injury. He was held out. Uh, during the game, the only thing that happened during the game was, was uh, Cam, Cam Smith, just an upper body injury. Think he'll be fine, but credit those other defensive backs. I mean, Carlin Spatel didn't play. He's got a leg bruise. Uh, RJ gets kicked out of the game, and then Cam, uh, Cam gets hurt. So now you're down three of your top defensive backs aren't even playing. So it was uh, a lot of guys like David Spalding and Jalen Foster had to step up and play a lot, rep, a lot of reps, and then some guys like Jamar Brown had to come in and and, uh, and step in and step in, and he certainly did. And made plays. Made plays. Jamar Brown did as well. That's our Prisma Health injury report. Much more to come right here at williams Price Stadium. The Gamecocks get their third win of the season, surpasses last year's win total on the entire season. We'll have the highlights when we come back on Gamecock Football with Shane Beamer. That's next. Gamecock Football with Coach Beamer, brought to you by Britons of Columbia, dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. At the University of South Carolina, we have what we need to win at every level. Second to none academics, facilities, fans. And having Prisma Health is the official healthcare system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. Prisma Health orthopedics physicians are on the sidelines every day taking care of our players, and they provide the same exceptional care for everyone across the region. We're proud to have them on our team. To learn more, visit prismahealth.org slash Gamecocks. This is Ford Truck Month. So are you ready for a ride? Now is the time to get a great deal on Ford Ranger, Ford Super Duty, and the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. Get our best offers of the year and see what Built Ford Tough can do for you. Welcome to the show, America. Welcome to the show. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 Ford F-150 during Ford Truck Month. See your Carolina Ford dealer today.
turn hard working days into happy nights. Our battery AK Homeowner Series starts at just $199.99. Real Steel. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. Southern Way Catering is the official partner of South Carolina Athletics for special events in williams Bryce Stadium. Book your next event with Southern Way and experience unparalleled hospitality. To tour one of our new premium spaces, call 803-783-1061 or visit the website at thesouthernway.com. 3.30 kickoff for the Gamecocks and the Troy Trojans is Sun Belt versus SEC. And as usual, a gorgeous day for football at williams Bryce Stadium. And uh, Coach, the coin flip puts you on offense first today. Yeah, you know, we came out there and, and uh, you know, had a chance to, wanted to get off to a good start. And, and it's talked about starting fast. You know, here's the opening kickoff right here. And they get in there a touchback. I want to thank the fans that were out there today, first day game, and, and uh, appreciate the people that were here. You know, there's Luke, big time throw down the middle to, uh, to carry on. Nice to see him make a play and good protection. You know, uh, anytime you can get points on the first drive is good. We haven't been able to do that well. Here we are on a second and 25. I can't get in long yarded situations like that, but big time throw right there to Jaheim Bell uh, from Luke. And, and now we're in business. Went for it here on fourth down and, and uh, you know, contested catch. We just got to make that play. Uh, and DK is going to make a ton of plays for us as the year goes on. Didn't get anything out of it. Had to control the line of scrimmage. Obviously, our D-line uh, has a, had a great advantage against those guys and uh, stopped it. You know, here's this a bit disappointing. Third and eight, we got to fit the run better with the gaps. And then we just got to be more physical at the point of attacks. Really big play right here. I mean, third and four, and, and uh, they got a chance to get off the field. Big time play right there to Kevin Harris. Now we're first and 10 on the 35, and, and we've got to be able to finish uh, that drive and we did it you know here same thing third and 11 they forced us to throw it underneath nice catch or nice uh, tackle by their guy you know we did a good job of pressuring their quarterback today I mean we, we hit him a lot he made some throws but he got hit about every time he threw the football here we are again I mean this you talk about a big time play right here third and seven before the half uh, now we're first and ten on the 32 yard line seven to three you know and we've got to be able to to finish that drive here we are second and seven throwing nice to see EJ Jenkins get out there and then that's all you know you finish a drive now we're 10-7 he's getting better and better and better a big target that's playing faster and more physical here they tried to hit us on a double pass you know pretty good job our guys covering it now we just we can't allow the guy to run for nine yards get them in long yarded situation second and 19 and then what a play I mean you talk about a momentum changer in less than a minute that's two weeks in a row that Troy has thrown an interception going into score you know so big Louisiana Monroe did it last week to him and then what a huge play right there by David Spalding to make it a 10 point game going into the half we needed that we needed something to kickstart us our guys felt confident going into the locker room at halftime but we told them at halftime like we're in a dog fight and um, you know the great teams come out and and dominate this game in the second half and and we did a lot of good things and, and found a way to to win the game at the end and that shows you about this team coach still finding its way EJ Jenkins never caught a touchdown pass he gets one of the ball games David Spalding's in there because Patel or at least more in there he makes a play on a 74 yard return so everybody contributed over that time and that leads to the Gamecocks lead at halftime let's go back out to Williams Bryce Stadium second half kickoff here we are we're overrunning the ball a little bit you know allowing a crease and giving them too much and then you know they run the ball we lose the edge right here can't don't do a great job on the perimeter getting off blocks third and seven we got pressure quarterback sits in there I mean makes a big time throw and and uh, big time catch by their guy they've got some good receivers and and uh, you know now we give them give them a touchdown and, and here we are we, we like the reverses going into the game this, they pursue really really hard and though the reverses were good plays for us I really like the downfield block and you see Kevin Harris downfield block and you see J uh, Jalen Brooks down there huge play right here I mean they blocked it just Jamar Brown or, or blocked it up Jamar Brown just being really really physical you know and knocking that guy back and then you know Mr. Uh, Mr. Automatic coming in here and, and making another field goal to make it 20 to 14. What a play by Jalen Foster right there you know strip sack what a crazy play this was. I mean, you just, it seemed like the, it never ended. Long play after long play, and then this can't happen. I mean, we, we, we show examples across the country of things like this and, and how they happen, and, and nobody feels worse about that than Jamar. We'll teach it, correct it, and make sure that doesn't happen. You know, what a, what a play, stripping that ball out. You know, we gave out some game balls in the locker room. I told Jalen Foster we could give him a game ball every single week with the way that he's playing. I mean, he is playing lights out. And then what a really good drive by our offense. I mean, we, we 
we get field position, or we, we're backed up, but we take it right back down the field. The naked boot game was good for us today, but we take it right back down the field, utilize the clock the right way, run as much time off as we can, kick a field goal, Mr. Automatic. They had a you know a jumper in there to try and block it. Great job by Parker trying to get it up, and then heck of a play. Once again, our defense getting another turnover for us, and uh, right there to have a chance to deal the ball out. What a great feeling. Uh, a lot to build up on, a lot of good, a lot of bad. It'll be some great teaching on uh, Sunday in our team meeting to be able to coach today's game and, and improve. But, you know, we're, we're, we're not even halfway through the season. We feel like we haven't played our best football yet. They're playing really, really, really hard. And I hope our fan base realizes and appreciate how hard our guys are playing and how much passion they're playing with. It's not always pretty, but, man, the effort is not a question. And I and, uh, love coaching this group, and we just got to continue to get better. Better. Parker Weiss, three field goals. The turnovers by the defense really could have been another score by the defense, but Jamar's mistake going into the end zone. But Carolina wins it 23-14. We've got some awards to give out when we come back on Gamecock Football with Shane Beamer. That's next. Join us every Thursday at Mack Street's Grill on Divine Street for Carolina calls from 7 to 8 p.m. Visit backstreetsgrill.com to learn more about their unique food and drink options. Fans, are you ready for some Gamecock football this fall? Visit usccontest.com and register for your chance to win two tickets to the next football home game and a Gamecock visor autographed by Coach Beamer, courtesy of Farm Bureau Insurance. Everyone that registers will be entered for the chance to win the grand prize, a Gamecock-themed tailgate package. Register to win today at usccontest.com. Brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance. Here for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. And you ask me what I want this year Just a chance that maybe we'll find better days Cause everyone is forgiven now Cause tonight's the night the world begins again People think I have all the answers, but I think that's because my voice sounds like, well, like this. In reality, I'm full of questions. What's the fastest jet ever? Who decided righty should be tidy? When did they start using forks? The Byzantine Empire. Really? And I'll never stop asking, because curiosity moves the world. Why do we call it a boom mic? It happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Ford's lineup of adventurous SUVs and legendary tough trucks are built for the Carolinas and built Ford Proud. Drive one, buy one at your Carolina Ford dealer today. The excitement on the bus when we come from that hotel and then we pull right over there into Gamecock Park to hear the guys on the bus and the excitement that they have when they see that, it is appreciated. I say that we're, we've got the greatest fans in the country and uh, we do. This football team is evident on the opening kick. And look at this wide open space. Doty perfect ball to Bell, and he's upended near the five yard line where it'll be first and goal. Powell goes sidearm, and RJ Roderick was.
was right there on Smith. Doty in stride to Van, and Josh turns it on in Detroit territory. The tenth play of the drive, Doty rolls out again, fires, it's caught, touchdown! What a grab by E.J. Jenkins! Powell too far, it's picked off! Scampering the other way come the Gamecocks. A pick six, 75 yards for David Spaulding. Just a monumental swing of events right there towards the end of the first half. Throw picked off by Spaulding changes everything. Another punt for Magliosi, and it's blocked. End around to Van, seen this once before. And Josh gets a first down again with it. Intercepted. Off the carom, it goes to Damani Staley, and the Gamecocks will put this one away. Angel Frank from the track and field team is this week's Food Lion Community Service Athlete of the Week. A sophomore, Frank has volunteered at the Salvation Army as well as coordinating a welcome back school supply drive among student athletes for a local elementary school that collected more than 800 items. Congratulations to Angel Frank. Hello, I'm Greg Hughes, President of Contract Construction. Please come join me in one of the most exclusive clubs in williams Price Stadium, the 2001 Club. So the patrons in this club have their own private loge box up top, um, get to experience 2001 from a perspective like no other fan can. As you can see, the uh, nano wall opens up to the players. So. You know, personally, I came to the stadium as a kid and can tell you exactly when the first cleat's going to set foot on the field on the note in 2001. Here you're behind the scenes, you get the adrenaline rush, you get to be a part of 2001, thus the name. Um, again, the most premium seating in our upgrades. Uh, you've got full catered meals during the course of the game. You've got open bar that serves cocktails, beer, and wine. Elevator access to all your seats. You've got a mezzanine area that overlooks the 2001 club. And just a, a really neat, clean vibe that's, that's very exciting uh, during the game, before the game, and after the game. Hard working days and a happy nights. Our battery AK Homeowner series starts at just $199.99. Real Steel. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. For over 40 years, Sound and Images has been South Carolina's corporate multimedia partner for live events. Sound and Images is also your resource for commercial audiovisual installations. Help your teams collaborate more efficiently with a custom crafted AV solution from Sound and Images. Whether you want a single monitor upgrade or a turnkey AV system, we are dedicated to helping you incorporate easy to use technology into your space. And we offer the best in class support and service. Elevate your AV. Call Sound and Images today. At the University of South Carolina, we have what we need to win at every level. Second to none academics, facilities, fans. And having Prisma Health is the official healthcare system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. Prisma Health orthopedics physicians are on the sidelines every day taking care of our players, and they provide the same exceptional care for everyone across the region. We're proud to have them on our team. To learn more, visit prismahealth.org slash Gamecocks. This is Ford Truck Month. So are you ready for a ride? Now is the time to get a great deal on Ford Ranger, Ford Super Duty, and the all-new 2021 Ford F-150. 
Get our best offers of the year and see what Built Ford Tough can do for you. Welcome to the show, America. Welcome to the show. For a limited time, get 0% financing for 72 months on a 2021 Ford F-150 during Ford Truck Month. See your Carolina Ford dealer today. Good hard work has earned Courtney Weber the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the volleyball team, Courtney is a chemistry major with a 3.755 GPA. This week's Academic Athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. Down in 19. Pal inside, picked off at the 30, running on the far sideline at the 50, 40, foot race, all alone. Into the end zone. Touchdown, Carolina. That's our Sansbury Eye Center. Did you see that play on a second and 20? David Spaulding is forced into at least playing more than he normally does with a big pick six right before the half. Yeah, huge. Uh, you talk about momentum, get the crowd into it. We needed it. Uh, jolt of energy. And, and like I said earlier, I mean, it's, it's offense, defense, special teams, everybody being able to contribute. And, and, and great to see a guy like David come in there, like you said, having to play a lot of reps today because Carlins was out and then Cam was out, which affected David's rotation as well. And, and just what a warrior and, and happy for him. And another guy that just continues to get better and better each week. That's the third pick six of the season for the Gamecocks. Almost had a fumble recovery for six as well. But congratulations to David. Now, Coach, our Terminex Pest player of the game. A lot of people on defense, uh, Jalen Foster, another great game. But Parker White, when you needed the points, we couldn't get it in the red zone and get it in. Three field goals today. He's 9-9 nine and nine on the year as well. Knock on wood. No, nah, he's, uh, he's Mr. Automatic. I mean, what a weapon. I mean, he's just so cool and collected. And he... Uh, you know, he's, he's just very confident and he's doing a great job. Coach Limbo is doing a great job with all of, our, all of our special teams. Kai did some nice things today, punting the football. But, you know, you talk about Parker and what he did at East Carolina on the game winning kick when he wasn't healthy. Last week against Kentucky, hitting the 50 whatever yarder it was to be able to allow us to potentially win the game at the end and then the kick today. I mean, he is, I don't know if there's a kicker in the country uh, performing better than he is right now, but I know if this, there's not another kicker in the country. I'd rather have kicking for us than him. Parker got a 23-yarder, a 48-yarder, and a 37-yarder today. Congratulations, our Terminex Pest player of the game. We're going to look ahead, wrap this one up as well. What a gorgeous night at williams Bryce Stadium. We'll be back on Gamecock Football with Shane Beamer. If the Gamecocks record 350 yards or more on offense, go to the notifications on your game day app to learn how to receive a free made-from-scratch biscuit during breakfast hours at Columbia and Orangeburg participating Hardys on Monday after the game. I need to try it first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you ask me what I want. This year, just a chance that maybe we'll find better days. Cause everyone is forgetting now. Cause tonight's the night the world begins again. Unexpected happens to you. There's Colonial Life. Benefits that help cover what your regular insurance doesn't. Wow, this new Coca-Cola Zero Sugar. Is it the best Coke ever? No! Yes! No! Yes! No! Yes! Okay, I'm gonna try it first. Yes! I need to try it first.
Cock Football with Coach Beamer. Brought to you by Britons of Columbia. Dressing South Carolina for success since 1946. Welcome back. Coach, six straight SEC games, and it starts up at Rocky Top. And apparently they found themselves today against the Missouri Tigers, 62 points. They've been battling with their quarterbacks to try to figure out who was going to play, but I haven't seen them play too much this year. What do you know about the Vols? I know they can score points in a hurry. And uh, you look at all their scores, I mean, they're putting up points. That hasn't been the issue. And, and obviously, uh, we know what Missouri is as a football team, and that's a good football team. And they went into Columbia, Missouri today, and, and uh, uh, that thing was over early. I saw the score before our game. I think they scored like 40-something points in the first half, if I'm not mistaken. So they're really talented on offense and obviously played well today on defense and, and getting better. Another coach in his first year, and we've got to we've go up there and play well. Another road environment. We didn't handle that environment very well in Athens uh, with the crowd noise, and we know it'll be rocking in Knoxville Saturday, and we've got to do a great job of handling that ourselves. On our Toyota keys to the game, Toyota lets go places. Uh, a coach, you know, still four offensive touchdowns in the last four ball games. Defense is creating support and you're playing good defense. How much closer do you think we were today? I know you need to watch some film, but what did you feel like the offense and what we were doing with Coach Staff? Yeah, I think close. We tried to, you know, just get the ball to our playmakers and, and being able to throw the ball down the field and being able to get the ball on the perimeter to guys like Juju and throw some quick screens out there. And we've got to continue to find ways to generate points and yards. And I think the biggest thing for us is just finishing drives. You know, we kicked a lot of field goals today. Uh, you take those field goals away and turn them into seven points, this is a different game. Give Troy credit for that, but, you know, kicking field goals in the red zone against Tennessee is probably not going to cut it based on the way they can score points. So we've got to do a better job of finishing drives. He's coach Shane Beamer, and his football team's won three games on the year now. Three and two, Carolina wins it today over Troy, the Trojans, and we're going to be back into SEC play next week. We hope you'll be with us on the Gamecock Sports Network during the ball game, and of course, be here next Sunday as well. The preceding has been a Learfield presentation of the Gamecock Sports Network. This copyrighted broadcast is an exclusive presentation of Learfield under the broadcasting rights granted by the University of South Carolina. Reuse of this presentation is prohibited without the expressed written consent of the University of South Carolina and Learfield. Announcers are provided by Learfield and approved by the University of South Carolina.